Hello and welcome back to Backyard Football 2009 with the Detroit Lions and the worst players at every position. I'm Thaddeus with Adventuring Warfish Let's Play. And in the last episode, we, yeah, we didn't do so well. We lost the Jaguars at home, a crushing 24-17 loss. But this time we got to travel to face the Panthers. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, they're sitting at 3-6. and six. Quick check because I'm going to have to start checking this every single time. Oh, the Vikings dropped a game too. Okay, I didn't check that last part. Last part, I didn't check the standings, but we're still tied with the Vikings. I think we're holding a tiebreaker on division record. But we got to start cobbling together and stringing together some wins because it's getting scary. I don't think we... We do face the Vikings later on, but I'm not hinging what happens based on that one game. I want to get a couple game cushion just in case we decide to botch that game. But anyway, I'm stalling enough as it is. Let's bring on the Carolina Panthers. Hello once again, football fans. This is Sunny Day. I'm joined here today by someone who, as a player, was twice voted MVP of the injured reserve, Chuck Downfield. Thanks, Sunny. I feel special. Also special. We're playing football today at Weber Estates, a lovely place to get a grass stain or two. Today, the home team is the Carolina Panthers. And the visiting team is the Detroit Lions. All right, all ready. Let's get on with the game. Okay, Lions, we're chasing our sixth win of the season. We should have gotten it last time, but, you know, I was actually fairly surprised with... Um, with Arthur Chen's ability to air it out in, in that game. 120, 120 yards through the air. We had more, he had more passing yards than rushing yards, which I don't think has ever happened. Through two touchdowns, um, he didn't throw a pick. Our one turnover came from a, a fumble, so. And we're, oh, nice going, Arthur Chen. You were burned and you broke it up right at the right time. Arthur Chen has been the, that police of the secondary. He is, he's not a good quarterback, but he makes up for it at being out there in the secondary. And finally, you know, that's, that's what we're looking for out of Arthur Chen. We're looking to, you know, I, I don't think he has a pick yet, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he has forced any turnovers, but he definitely, um, oof. Nice catch. I think that was uh, Eric LeBeau on the uh, catch there. Yeah, there he is, number 57. Looking looking to throw. And it's picked off by Joey McAdoo. Joey McAdoo out into Panthers territory and out to the Panthers 41-yard line. Man. Joey McAdoo did not have a good game rushing last game, but we're hoping to get him more involved now. Second down and three after that seven-yard run. Looking, looking, and nope. That whole side of the field is wide open, and t Chen is going to take advantage of it and get into the red zone for the Lions. Where was this last game? And McAdoo there making a nice little run. Second down and five now. Chen, play action, back to pass. Throws it, Pete Wheeler, and he drops it. Third down, five to go. And they're gonna stretch it out now with McAdoo who pushes a man down to get the first down and gets out to the two yard line. So beautiful job there. Chen rolling out of the pocket, going to cut it in. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. And he punches the football in for six points. Looks, looks, he sees nothing, and he's just going to take it into the end zone himself. And the Lions off to a fast, hot start this game. Rolling out of the pocket this time, looking. And that's Pete Wheeler there to bring him down to the turf. Close to midfield. So, with the first quarter winding down, the Lions lead 7-0. 
Looking to pass now, looking. And that's another incompletion forced by Arthur Chen. He has been absolutely incredible. That's what I call football, Sonny. And that's going to be a handoff, and that'll be he'll be met by Vicky Kawaguchi. Haven't said her name in a while this playthrough, but here she is appearing and making a, making a stop. Looking to pass after the split back set there. And, oh, nice catch by LeBeau, and that will be... That'll be Lisa Crockett on the stop. I think I'm saying I think I'm saying his name right. I think it was Eric LeBeau. Looking to pass there. And that'll be an incomplete pass. They won't rule out a backwards pass. And with four seconds left, this will be the last play of the first quarter. So the Lions holding on to a 7-0 lead. And that was a nice throw over the middle, and it was broken up by, I think, Arthur Chen. So, third down, 10 to go, looking. And he gets burned, that was Marky Dubois, and that'll end the quarter as Eric LeBeau makes a nice catch and will get the touchdown for the Panthers. It'll be a 40-yard touchdown play as well, so we will go into the second quarter tied at seven apiece. Looking, back to throw, pressure in his face, and it's throw through the arms of of Joey McAdoo, and that'll set up a punting situation now for Marky Dubois. Oh boy, Dubois, he's got to put his foot into it. puts it in, puts his foot into it. This will go down to the 13. It'll be taken, and Vicky Kawaguchi will be there to make the hit. So she's got two tackles. I think that's a career high for her in this series. Looking back to throw again. And Arthur Chen is there to break up another pass. Arthur Chen, he's been absolutely incredible all over the field all season. Despite what our record says, we've... I don't know, I've... And Vicky Kawaguchi again, just, I was going to say, despite what, how this season has been, despite what this season has been, and despite us having a winning record, it doesn't really feel like we should be leading our division, but okay, I guess. <laughs> and that's a completed pass, and Marky Dubois is there with a, with a takedown. And forcing another, forcing a punting situation now for the Panthers. And they're gonna wind the clock all the way down. This will be, they'll hand off to Reese and Reese will get a couple of yards there and that will be, that'll make it, this will be a 57 yard field goal attempt for Marky Dubois. It's been pretty good the last couple of kicks, but this will be a 57 yard field goal. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, it's on the way, it is. And he's got it, and the Lions lead it 10 to 7 after Marky Dubois sinks another kick. I, I've lost track now of how many kicks in a row Marky Dubois has made because he has set a new streak, he is finally coming into form, and he's been a bright spot the last three, four games for us. Oh my goodness, and as Marky Dubois is brought down at the 28, and the Lions will get the ball to start the second half. Throwing deep, it's to Reese Worthington. He is wide open and unable to bring that ball in. Oh, that would have been a beautiful, that would have been a beautiful way to start the half, and So Arthur Chen looking, looking, throws it over his defender's head. He's got McAdoo, McAdoo into the open field and out to the 47-yard line. So now the Lions look to be stringing something together. Hand off to McAdoo, McAdoo to the outside. He's brought down from behind. 
Arthur Chen. Play action. He's got someone chasing him. Can he get him? No! Chen gets the first down and finally brought down at the Panthers 38 yard line. And this is what we've ne we've been needing to see from this Lions offense. And that one, well, not that. We shouldn't be seeing that from our offense, but that's what you get when you have people that don't catch. Second down and 10, ball in the 38. Hand off to McAdoo. McAdoo looking. Gets over to the 30-yard line, and it's going to be a third down and one now. Third and one. Ball in the 30. Nice handoff, Reese Worthington to the outside. Cuts it in and could have broken even more, but still gets out to the 18 of the Panthers. Handoff to McAdoo. He's gonna get hit for a loss of one. Third down and nine now. Looking, looking, back, and nope, it's just nothing but green in front of him as Chen will take it inside the five to the four yard line. So with most of the third quarter gone now, Chen hands off to Reese. Reese to the end zone. He's brought down at the one. He was just about to try to dive over. One yard line now. Chen pitch out to McAdoo. He cannot get there in time. So it'll bring down now a uh, bring up now a third and goal. Chen hands off and not able to get there. Oh my goodness. This will be a short kick by Dubois. Good snap, good hold, and he missed it. It came off his foot odd. And that one will sting as the Lions only lead it 10-7 as Marky Dubois missed a critical kick but Arthur Chen's there to break up another pass. Can the Lions hold on to a lead in the fourth quarter and not blow it here? And he's caught it. He's in a foot race down the field to the 40 down to the 37. Oh my goodness, and now it's deja vu as from last week's game. As Arthur Chen breaks up another pass. What have you got to say, Chuck? I formation now. I formation. This is gonna get insane now. And Joey McAdoo's there to break up a pass. Now it's third down and 10. And if you're the Panthers, obviously you got to wait for this play. But do you go for it or try the long field goal for the tie if you don't get it here? Going back to pass, looking, throws it, and it's caught. And Lisa Crockett saves a touchdown. Defense starts with a D. Lisa Crockett saves a touchdown. And that's a touchdown to Thor, Thor Hurston. They got. They're gonna give the Lions a two-minute offense. I don't. I don't want to drop down to five and five. No, please don't. <laughs> I don't want to drop down to five and five. I don't want to start calling timeouts. Chen makes a man miss. He's into the open field, down to the 40 of Carolina. Takes the snap, looks. He's got a man wide open. It is Joey McAdoo who pulls it in, down inside to the end zone. Gets away from the defender. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. Bring it on. Looking here, it was just like Chen was pressured through perfectly down to McAdoo. He gets to the outside, and Steve Smith tries to bring down McAdoo, and he just gets away from him, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown for the Lions. Trying to hold on to this. It's 17 to 14, a minute 06 to go in the game. And Arthur Chen, he meets him. He's got the tackle. And I don't know. Right. 
Yeah, I don't. I, I I called an all out blitz by accident. We're gonna go weak zone. Nice Chuck. Third down and two. Fifty two seconds to go. And that's caught over the middle, and it's a timeout. Gets called by Carolina. Looking back to pass. Oh, and Arthur Chen missed his uh, missed his assignment, and he gets out of bounds with 43 seconds left. That would have been a big hit behind the line of scrimmage, and they would have been forced to call a timeout. But Arthur Chen missed the tackle. Looking back to pass. And he got the ball over the middle, and it's caught. Brought down by Chen. Good, good hands there. Looking back to pass. And Arthur Chen making another hit. But it doesn't jar the ball loose. He makes another tackle. And now the Panthers on the move looking. And Markey able to bring bring the ball in. 24 seconds to go. Carolina is without any timeouts now. And that's caught Steve Smith, and that's another touchdown. And my heart has sank. We have we are gonna lose two heartbreaking games back to back. 17 seconds to go. Chen looking. Back to pass. He's gonna throw it up top deep. It is caught. Pete Wheeler, and they got a timeout called, and they're still in it. We're almost out of time. Ten seconds to go, and they blow the coverage. Six seconds left. Six seconds left. Throws it to the end zone. It's Pete Wheeler. He's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. Oh, my goodness. How much time was left? Oh, my goodness me. Doc Lewis just says, let's send everybody deep. Let's throw it up to Pete Wheeler, and let's see what we got. And it's a touchdown. Both feet were in bounds, and it's no time left. Oh, my goodness. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lions come into Carolina and pull an upset of epic proportions. 24-21, and they're 6-4 and four on the season. Dan Doorknob is your player of the game, but I say, holy hell, give it to none other than Arthur Chen. Another two-touchdown performance through the air. I don't care if he was four for 12. He threw an amazing ball. Two catches to Pete Wheeler for 69 yards. Nice. That 37-yard touchdown. They did it. They pull, they pull off an incredible win. I, I, I'm in shock. They, I can't believe they did that. I can't believe they, I can't believe we just did that. The Detroit Lions win on a hail mary pass to win the game 24-21, and they improved to six and four. What did that do for team standings? It still kept us alive because the Vikings won also. But anyway, we are going to be facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers next. And I think the Buccaneers are the best team. Yep, they are the second best team in the NFC with an 8-2 record. But I don't care. They somehow won on the road an incredible victory. That's an incredible way to end the episode. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm Thaddeus with Adventuring Orfish Let's Play. And in the next game... We are taking on the eight and two bucks.